I love being from a screwed up family because nothing bothers me anymore. Nothing bugs me. Once you've driven a drunk father to mom's parole hearing, what else is there? <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> normal people scare the living shit out of me. Normal people, because normal people haven't had enough problems in their life nor to handle problems when they come up. Something little happens, they just snap. <laughs> Toilet back, huh? <laughs> Is there no God? <laughs> oh, I'm getting a pickaxe and I'm going to Burger King. <laughs> Look at every serial killer we ever caught in this country. Catch a serial killer, get his family on television. What does the family say? He was so normal. <laughs> he was an Eagle Scout. <laughs> His neighbors, yeah, he was really quiet. <laughs> that boy always said hi to me, though. So if you guys got a neighbor being real cool, always saying hi, take him out. <laughs> That's him. Love screwed up people, though. I hang out with screwed up people forever. Screwed up people are great, because screwed up people have been through some stuff. They know what can happen. They know the problems. Because if you've been through a lot of shit in your life, you know every time you see the shit just about to hit the fan, you step to the side of the fan. <laughs> That's right. And all the poor little normal people. <laughs> hey, you learned something, didn't you? Uh-oh, you got something right here. <laughs> Glad I was raising my father instead of my mom, too. Because women in general suck at raising kids. That's right, I said it, who wants some? Come on. Here's what I mean, ladies. You see a kid putting a penny in a light socket, what do you do? Oh my God, stop it, and you smack that little hand. Well, there. Well, when that kid's five, getting smacked in the hand is no big deal anymore. Fathers see the exact same child putting a penny in a light socket and go, no, wait, wait. <laughs> Well, go on. <laughs> well, you're not gonna do that again, are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know it hurt. It shot your ass about eight feet, I saw. <laughs> Come on, get up. Yes, your eyebrows will grow back. Come on. <laughs> See, a mother will just give you knowledge. A father makes you earn knowledge. My dad never taught me dick my whole life. Just go do it! <laughs> you screw it up, but sooner or later you'll get it right. Just go do it! Yeah, certain things that method should not be applied to, though, like your first break job. <laughs> my first car was a 1977 Oldsmobile Delta 88. Ugly car. More ugly on this car than a Rolling Stones group photo. <laughs> and it was huge car to optional roof rack helicopter pad. <laughs> fill it with gas, back out of the driveway, fill it up again. <laughs> and one day the brakes started making this high-pitched grinding noise, and I was 16, so I listened to the noise for about 10 weeks. <laughs> I finally said, Dad, man, the car's making like a noise. <laughs> well, then you should like fix it. <laughs> so I back the ass into the car into the garage, but I leave the front wheels on our 22 degree slope driveway and I jack up the ass end. <laughs> yes, I'm about to get a lesson in gravity, aren't I? And I know my father was in the living room window going, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> So I'm under the car trying to make it stop better when I notice it start to go and my butt cheeks, thinking quickly, walked me out from under it. <laughs> and three tons of vehicle went shh on the garage floor. Now, I ended up on the other side of the car. My dad couldn't see me, but he came running out of the house. Chris! Oh my God, Chris! And I thought, I probably should tell him I'm okay. But that little thing in my brain said, no, wait, wait. 